All right, we're in deer camp. There's always lots to do. We're going to go out and chase some coyotes, maybe do some bird hunting. There's still some fellas hunting whitetails or mule deer here in Nebraska. So what I've done is we've butchered up a couple of the deer and you can see we have pieces of rounds and there's, uh, we've made some other dishes. We have some small pieces left over here, some nice center rounds. But what we're going to do is we're going to brown this up, brown up some onions, put it in a crock pot with some beef broth and a couple spices from High Mountain Seasoning. And we're going to make pulled venison for dinner tomorrow night. Quick, easy, and it's going to free us up for this afternoon and tomorrow so we can get back out hunting. I'm going to prepare some yellow onions that we're also going to fry up and put in the crock pot with the brown venison for making pulled venison for tomorrow night's dinner. Quick, easy, put it on the crock pot and go back out hunting. Let's get these in the frying pan. All right, got some olive oil in the cast iron. I always use Camp Chef cast iron when possible. It just browns up nicer. You get a nice brown finish to the meat, which is extra depths of flavor. And uh, we're gonna see that with the pulled meat. Just by browning these up, it's gonna add a bunch of flavor before we stick them in the crock pot to break down and get real happy. All right, we've got our different rounds and pieces of gear in here that we're gonna use for making the pulled venison. Here's the round roast that we just kept whole. We're just gonna put them right into the, the crock pot. Of course, uh, when you brown it, like we mentioned, it, it does add flavor to the meat. A great way to do them up really quickly and get them in there and use up all those little extra parts that you sometimes say, what do I do with these? Am I gonna make burger or what's gonna go on? And of course, we have drippings in the pan again. We're gonna make some gravy, but we just have a few more pieces to brown up. Look at those, very nice. And, wow, mm, mm, mm. Gonna make some gravy. I'm just adding some water. I've got some beef broth to add to this later, but you can see how it lifts it off. That's loaded with yummy flavors from the meat. And that's why we use cast iron. You can just scratch the pan with a fork or tongs or something to release the browning on the bottom. But definitely, adds flavor to the meat and this put over top is going to be delicious. Now over to the crock pot. Let's get these cooking. Okay, we've got the crock pot lined with meat. We've got the drippings in the pan in there. We've got a sliced up onion that we're going to add that's also going to add some flavor to it. I like to add some high mountain seasoning, the uh, garlic pepper rub. Once you start using this, you find it's very useful on whether you're cooking steaks or stews or pulled meat or whatever. It's very versatile, great flavors. We're going to put about a teaspoon of that in. And then just to kick it up a little bit, we're going to add some of their zesty western burger seasoning. Even though this isn't burgers, we've used this in a number of different things as well. Great flavor, not heat, but just flavor that it's gonna to add to the meat as it cooks down. And we've got about half a teaspoon to three quarters of a teaspoon of that. Now we're gonna add some beef broth that we've made up and turn this on and let it sit for six to eight hours. And that meat's gonna break down and we're gonna be able to shred it and pull it apart. Everyone's tried pulled pork, but have you tried pulled whitetail?